All right, guys. I want to talk about a uh, a really troubling issue that has to do with scope. And if you don't know what scope is, it's basically what variables can you access from your current location in the code. Okay. And this becomes a huge issue when you're dealing with set timeout and set interval, as well as some jQuery functions. So let's take a look at some issues we have at the moment. So we've got some code going on. And then we're down here in a case called fade. And then we've got a fade in function in jQuery going on. Okay? So just to give you some reference where we are at the moment, we are in a class. We're basically in a JavaScript class called Notify. So this has some properties and it's got some methods. Okay? So when I use the, the word this, okay, I'm referring to the Notify object. So I should be able to go this dot destroy timer, this.l, and this.ops. At all times, I should be able to do that in order to get these properties. Or be able to call this.destroyNotify to be able to actually call um, these functions. So that's how an object should work. I should be able to use the keyword this to refer to the object. So down here, again, inside the fade, I'm going to do a set timeout. So we have multiple levels of problems here. We're going to deal with each one. The first thing we're going to do is try and call this dot destroy notify. Okay, that's what we're going to do because we're going to set timeout we, on a certain duration. We want to call this function, which this function is a member of my object, so I should be able to do this. So I save and refresh, and I get box pops up, um, but it doesn't go away. And let me actually put another reporter in here. Uh, I'm going to console.log this um, to see what, what this refers to. Again, the variable this, and let's actually vary at the top here, right when the object starts, we will console.log this just to see what it should be in the start. So we refresh. Okay. So look what happened. This in the very beginning was our object with our properties and everything. But then, the second time we asked for this, it gave us the DOM object of something. It, it didn't give us the class. So that's our first scope error, and that's something that an, in, an internal of jQuery that jQuery changes. jQuery actually changes the value of this. So whilst inside the fade in, this no longer means this. Okay? So, how do we fix that? We fix that by outside of the fade in function we store a, a reference to what we want. So right here, we store a, a variable called destroy function, which equals to this.destroyNotify. And the reason we're doing that, again, this.destroyNotify is the same as this. The reason we're storing it out here is because out here, this is correct. But in here, this is not correct. OK? So what that means is now that we have destroy function, now we can call destroy function okay and what that will do is successfully call the function now okay so let's go to the destroy function which is up here and we will console.log this so now from inside the destroy function I would like to be able to interact with the object that's the whole point of methods on a class so let's see what this is inside of here so I'll refresh and I'll wait for this to go away and trigger that timeout and this is now the DOM window. This has changed again. So it's really annoying. jQuery changed the value of this, and now set timeout has changed the value of this. So you're thinking, OK, well, why don't we send this in? OK, that might work. So let's try and send the value of this into set timeout. So we will store a reference to this. So var self equals this. So we stored a reference to me as a variable. So in the right here the third parameter can actually take a parameter we'll call that self and then up in our function here uh, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, destroy function we will take in the value of self so now self should be the notify object so if we refresh and wait a second and now it is a reference to the object so that does work. You know, I didn't think that was going to work because it didn't work earlier. Let's actually just pass self instead of an array and see if that still works. Um, it's pretty crazy. Didn't expect that to work. Okay, that does work. Totally didn't expect that. So let me show you another way to do this instead of passing around uh, a reference to myself. 
uh, although this is not a bad way of doing it. It's called using closures. Okay, closures is a technique in JavaScript that allows you to escape the current scope by wrapping it in a function. So what I mean is instead of calling destroy function, we actually write out the word function like that, and then inside of here we can now call destroy function and we can pass it the value of self or whatever else we wanted to pass it to. Okay? So obviously this is kind of redundant now that I know the last part worked, but this allows you to escape uh, this allows you to es escape what you didn't have before. So this is called closures. It's another way of doing it. So the self will come in uh, up here. Where is it? So up here, self will come in, and it should be correct again without passing the third parameter. And there we go. So now it worked again, and this time we didn't have to pass the third parameter. We were able to use closures in order to send that fun that variable into our timeout function. So now we've solved both problems with jQuery changing the scope and with timer and timeout changing the scope.